In this video module, we're going to investigate the impact of variability, and we're going to use a very simple system that we've seen before. We're going to use a single server queuing system, and we're going to assume that we have an arrival rate of 48 entities per hour, and a service rate of 60 entities per hour. And since I like to think of things in time units of minutes also, we're going to assume that our inner arrival times are exponential with a mean of one minute. And our service times, we're going to just assume that we have a mean service time of one minute. And our interest is in investigating different values for or, or different distributions for the service time and to assess the impact on the queuing metrics. For this simple module, the metrics of interest to us include the utilization, the number of entities in uh, the system at steady state, and the time that entities spend uh, in the system at steady state. And we're going to consider four different options for our service time distribution. The first one is deterministic. Oops, see if I can write that a little better. DET for deterministic. So in the deterministic case, every single entity takes exactly one minute uh, to process. The remaining three, we're interested in three different distributions commonly used uh, in simulation context. The first is the triangular distribution. So we're going to have triangular distribution. And you can see the CDF, I'm sorry, the, the, um, the uh, uh, density function of the triangular distribution here. Uh, and the triangular distribution that we're looking at uh, has the lower bound of 0.5, upper bound of 1.5, and the uh, mode at 1. So uh, a symmetrical triangular distribution. The second distribution we're going to look at is the uniform distribution. And it's here in the middle, uh, the uh, density function for the uniform distribution. And again, we have the lower bound set at 0.5 and the upper bound at 1.5. And the final one we're going to look at is the exponential distribution. Exponential distribution with the mean value uh, at 1. And so when we look at our four options, the deterministic, the triangular, the uniform, the exponential, the expected value for each one of these is exactly one minute. And the thing that's different between these scenarios is the variance of the distribution. So before I continue, I want to fix one little error here. Notice I have, oops, let me go back up. I have the in arrival times at 1, this is actually 1.25. So 48 entities per hour uh, equates to an inner arrival time of 1.25 minutes rather than 1 minute. So we have an inner arrival time of 1, a mean inner arrival time of 1.25 minutes, mean service time of 1 minute for all cases. So before we get to the queuing analysis and then in the next video the simio modeling, let me talk just for a second about how I generated these uh, density functions uh, using MATLAB. For those of you who are interested in uh, using MATLAB to do this, you can see the script uh, right here. And so what we did uh, is we set the limits for the axis right here and then we generated three plots. So there's one, part one, uh, there's part two, and there's part three. And in each one we did the same thing. We used the make dis function to create the distribution. So we created the triangular distribution, the uniform, the exponential. We then set the range for the x-axis, uh, generated the PDF points, and then plotted the values and uh, set the axis in the title for the plot. So again, just decide if you're interested in using MATLAB to create these types of uh, density plots. It's a very straightforward process and you can see the you can see the commands right here. So now on to our problem of uh, using uh, the distribution. So again, we have four cases we're interested in. The deterministic case, the triangular, the uniform, the exponential. And we're interested in the standard queuing metrics of the, uh, the um, utilization of the server, the expected number of entities in the system at steady state, and the expected time in system at steady state. And so we essentially have two general cases here. We have the MM1 case for our exponential distribution. And for an MM1 uh, queuing system, we know that the number in system uh, is equal to rho over 1 minus rho. And so we have the second general case of MG1 
for the general distribution, and so the mg1 applies for our deterministic case, our triangular, and our uniform case. And we know for this, uh, L is equal to rho plus rho squared plus the arrival rate squared, the variance of the service process squared, I'm sorry, the variance of the service process is not squared, it's the variance, 2 times 1 minus rho. So in, for our system, or for any general queuing system, we have that rho is equal to lambda over c mu. And since c has a value of 1 uh, in all cases, lambda has a value of 48, mu has a value of 60 uh, in all cases. For all four of ours, we have a utilization of 0.8. And so that's relatively easy to compute. And so between our, our four cases, the only thing that's really different here is this variance term. So let's have a quick look at how to do that. So in the deterministic case, the variance uh, of the service time is zero by definition of the deterministic case. For the triangular case, the variance of a triangular distribution is a squared plus b squared plus m squared minus ab minus am minus bm all over 18. And so for our distribution, a is equal to 0.5, b is equal to 1, and I'm sorry, b is equal to 1.5, and m is equal to 1. And so this results in a sigma uh, squared for service time of 0 0.0417. For the uniform case, uh, the variance is given by b minus a squared over 12. And so a is equal to 0.5, b is equal to 1.5. And so our variance uh, for a uniform distribution is 0. 083. And it's just a side note here uh, from teaching this for many years. One problem that students often see is in this term right here, we have to make sure that our units are consistent. So if we go back, we need to make sure that we're either going to use an hourly arrival rate and a service time also in hours, or a minute service rate with a service uh, time in minutes. So it doesn't matter which you use as long as your uh, arrival rate and your variance of the service time uh, both use the same units. So now that we have our variance terms for each of our our uh, cases, the three remaining cases, uh, we can then compute the individual L values. So using the MM1, we get L for exponential case. Using the deterministic value, we can compute L for our deterministic case, the triangular case, the uniform case, uh, and so on. Once we have that, we can use, oops, we can apply Little's Law, Little's Law, which says L equals lambda W to compute W equals L over lambda. So once we compute the individual L values, we can compute the corresponding W values. Uh, and I'm going to uh, leave that as an exercise. And we'll just go back and let me put the values in. Change the ink color here. Make this red. And the values that we got, uh, as I said before, uh, the uh, uh, utilization is 0.8 uh, in all cases. In the deterministic case, our L was 2.40 uh, and our W was 3. In the triangular case, 2.47 was L, 3.08 is the uh, W. For the uniform case, 2.53 and 3.16. And finally, for the exponential case, 4.0 and 5.0. And so we can see uh, in our, uh, from our table, as we increase the variance, recall that the deterministic case, the variance is zero. For our triangular case, the variance uh, was uh, 0 0.0417. The variance in the uniform case was 0 0.083, and the variance in the exponential case uh, is 1. So as we increase the variance, uh, we 
make the queuing metrics, at least the L and the W, the numbering system and timing system, worse. We increase the numbering system and we also increase the timing system. And so this is uh, some, some evidence that of the corrupting influence of variability in these types of queuing system. The higher the variability, the worse you're going to do in terms of the traditional queuing metrics. As a final note, in this video we focused exclusively on the service time distribution. We could also change the arrival time distribution uh, to use a, a general distribution for the arrival times. Unfortunately that thing that makes things a little bit more complicated from a queuing perspective, but it doesn't complicate things at all from a simulation perspective. So the next video we'll look at creating a simio model to uh, perform the same analysis and how we might use that model to uh, adjust or to look at the impact of uh, differences in the arrival time distribution also.